Well, guys, NASA is planning to do something today that they've never done before. They will attempt to change the speed of an asteroid by slamming a spaceship into it. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it could really happen. And joining me with more on the mission is Justin Atkinson. Thank you so much for being with us. You guys are always doing such exciting stuff, and I love when you join us to break it down. So tell us what is happening today. So in about 13 hours, a spacecraft called DART is going to slam into a small asteroid at about 14,000 miles per hour. And the intent is to test out all of the technologies needed to actually impact, a space, uh, impact an asteroid and move it should one ever be discovered heading towards Earth. And so I'll start by saying there are no asteroids currently known to be headed towards Earth in at least the next 100 years. So this is really preparatory. This is getting ready in the event that we do discover one because we know there are still more out there we haven't found yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because it sounds a little scary at first, but you guys are so far ahead, 100 years out, that this could even possibly happen. So this is something you're testing in the odds of a very rare occurrence. Exactly, yeah. I don't think you should lose sleep at night, but we know that of the asteroids, that uh, the asteroid type that DART is going to hit, we've only found about 40%. And so there's 60% out there, tens of thousands that we haven't yet found, and we're working to find them. But in the meantime, we want to be ready and we want to have all the technologies in place so that we can react really quickly and confidently. Nice. And this asteroid, I understand, is named Dimorphos. I really like the name. Tell us a little bit more about it and how you're even going to know if it changes speed and direction. Yeah, so Dimorphos uh, is a moonlit around a larger asteroid, Didymos, both, both fun Greek names. And so we're going to hit this moonlet and we're going to impart a tiny, tiny change to its speed, about one millimeter per second. And that, it sounds like it would be really hard to measure, but because we're hitting the moonlet, we can see how the moonlet's orbit is changing. And we can, so we can measure that from the ground. It's kind of like a clock that's running a little bit fast. If you give it enough time, you can figure out that uh, that clock is fast and you missed work. In this case, uh, we're watching it go around ever so slightly faster. And eventually, when you look, if we hadn't hit it, it'd be on this side. We did hit it, we see it on this side a few weeks later. Gotcha. What's the most exciting part of it for you? Because for us, as I say, sometimes I think we don't understand all the science, but it reminds us of some of our favorite movies. Yeah, there, there are a ton of great technologies. We, we just packed everything we could onto one spacecraft. So it's got the autonomous guidance. So at four hours out, uh, it's going to, we're going to basically hand the keys to the spacecraft and it's going to fly itself into the asteroid. And if you're watching, there's going to be a video at one uh, image per second of live video for the first time we ever see this asteroid and you can watch it with us. Uh, and we're going to slam into it with all on its own. We're going to be watching while it does all the work. It also has this really cool electric propulsion engine on it that is going to be uh, game changing for future NASA missions. And then it's got these enormous solar arrays that are 60 foot from tip to tip. And those are the rollout solar arrays that have never been tested before. So all those technologies are, are going to be uh, great going forward. Oh man, this sounds super cool. Justin, thank you so much for joining us to tell us all about it. Thank you, my pleasure. All right, and best of luck with the mission. Let's get